Okay, this is my first in my series of base reviews. Um, the idea here is I'm going to just pick people who ask for reviews off Clash forums, and I'm going to, rather than just pull apart the whole base, I'm going to just uh, give sort of three ways to improve the base that's been posted. Um, this person's been handy because they've actually um, shown me their cup level. Um, that's also that's pretty important to determine what sort of base. Um, you want to be running because the cup level is going to tell me what sorts of attack you're facing and that's the key driver of or one of the key drivers of what type of base is good so um here we've got a level 63 and can't see the town hall but it's town hall 8 um on 987 cups so in that cup range we should be seeing mostly barch um and you can see also here we've got a farming base now uh, just the, the, looking for three things I'd improve about the space. The first thing I'd improve is you can see that you've got um, three stores in one pocket, three stores in another pocket. So the stores aren't um, that well separated, which means if the attack gets into this pocket, they can take out three stores, or if it gets into this pocket, they can take out three stores. So um, what's typical on a sort of good diverse, what I'd call a diversified farming base, where you spread your loot is you actually separate the loot into separate pockets. Um, so um, one way of doing that here might be if you, say, um, kept your splash damage like the mortars centered because you want them nice and well protected given that you're going to be mostly facing barch, you could possibly rotate the gold here. Uh, you could probably, you know, um, maybe here, here, and move this one here and just rotate it around and then sort of set some walls up but the idea is you want to have your loot in separate pockets so they can't just get in one pocket and take most of your loots so that's the first tip on this base um, second tip on this base is okay if you're at um, 987 cups I'm I'm assuming you're probably not seeing much air attack because you know who's going to be investing in air troops to farm at that level um, maybe some minions but you know probably mostly you're not going to see be be seeing heavy air attack. Now, my view on that is when you've got air defenses, you can actually almost use them as shield buildings um, at the really low cup levels uh, because you shouldn't be seeing a lot of air attack. So, um, so two things here. One is your whiz towers are quite wide. Now, whiz towers, you'll get more value if you're defending barch if you put them defending your high hit point um, uh, stores. So I'm a big fan of, say, swapping your whiz tower and the air defense so the whiz tower will cover that store if you get an attack through here um, the whiz tower covers this store if you get an attack through here because your air defenses you're probably not using them a heck of a lot um, as for this whiz tower uh, it's, it's hard, hard to say but you could probably try and move that in range of uh, on one of your stores um, although you, you want to probably actually you've got it you're protecting your D store that's probably okay so there's two tips, bring your whiz towers a bit in and um, have a look at using uh, your air defences as potentially shield buildings. Now the third thing, I'm just looking at your bomb placement. Now I, I really like um, this bomb and this bomb where someone's going to open a pocket, um, the troops are all going to bunch as they hit the various buildings and then the bunch troops before they hit the store are going to hit a bomb so that's going to wipe out a whole lot of troops. So that's a really nice placement of a bomb and uh, so is this but uh, this one up here we're probably not going to see a lot of troop bunching before it gets hit so you've got a spring trap here you could think about moving this one over um, or, or you could actually sort of close that let them route through and let them bunch on the first Alexa store and then sort of route through to here that might be a way of getting them to bunch but what you're looking to do with your big bombs is to try and bunch the troops before they get there. Here, you get, they're gonna hit the spring, some are gonna bunch. Yeah, maybe they will bunch through here as they come through here, but my, my fear is that they will, it, um, if he's going for the store, oh no, no, perhaps that works um, because it's gonna hit here and then they're probably gonna bunch in trying to go for this store, so that's probably a good spot. Um, you could probably move your other spring trap in as well. Okay, so um, I've got, Okay, my, I'm going to count funny, but my three tips for that base are separate your stores into different pockets, um, move your whiz towers in to protect the stores, and the third one is use your air defences as a bit of shield, shield buildings, 
because you're only you're at below a thousand cups and you're not going to be seeing heavy air. Cheers.